Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.11 from Sadiku book. So the question is for the circuit in figure 7.91, find I0 for T is greater than 0. Okay, remember that this is the formula for the first order RL circuit. So IT is equal to I infinity plus I0 minus I infinity e to the minus T over tau. So we need to divide this into some cases. The first one is when t is less than zero. So the switch is still closed. Okay. When the switch is still closed, it is sorted like this. And then assuming that the switch has been closed for a long time, the inductor here for Henry is also become short circuit so inductor becomes short circuit after a long time okay so now we need to find this i0 zero, 0 here so this is i0 zero, 0 okay maybe i just want to do kcl so let's set this up as our ground which the voltage here will be zero and let's name this node as node a and let's do kcl at not a okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay i0 is the current that goes out and i want to set up the other current like this and like this okay and this is 24 volt from the ground so i will have 24 minus Va divided by the resistance between them which is 4 and that will equal to Va minus 0 that will be Va divided by the resistance between them which is 4 okay and then plus this one will be the same Va minus 0 that will be Va divided by the resistance between them which is 8 Okay, so multiply this by A to get rid of all of the denominator. So I will have 48 minus 2VA. And then this one will be 2VA. And then this one will be VA. Okay, good. And I will have 48 is equal to 5VA. And so VA is equal to 48 over 5 volt. Okay, now we need to find out I0. What is I0? I0 is VA divided by 8, right? So I will have 48 divided by 5 divided by 8. Okay, so this will become 6, and so I will have 6 over 5, that will be 1.2. Okay, and the unit here will be ampere, so I0, I0, 0, is equal to 1.2 ampere. Okay, this is the first value that we need, so we already got this one here. Okay, the next one, we need to find out the time constant. Okay, let's clean up the board and see the second case when t is equal to 0. Okay, now when t is equal to 0, the switch is open. And so we have this circuit left here. Or we can simplify this circuit here. So... This is, the resistor is in series, so 4 plus 8 is 12 ohm. So I will have 12 ohm. And then that inductor is for Henry. So I will have for Henry. Okay, so from here I can calculate the time constant. Tau is equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. The inductance is for Henry and the resistance is 12. Okay, so I will have 1 over 
three second okay so i will have tau is equal to one over three second good so this is the time constant so so far we got this i zero and then we get this tau here so the next thing that we need to find out is i infinity okay let's do that and see the circuit at infinity okay so far we get i zero zero and tau and the last thing that we need to find out is when t is equal to infinity because the switch has been open for a long time the inductor uh, the inductor become short circuit okay so we have left with only two resistor without source so obviously there is no source for the current therefore i zero infinity is equal to zero okay we have all the three important values we just need to plug in into this formula so i will have i zero t is equal to i infinity which is zero and then plus i zero which is 1.2 minus i infinity which is zero and then e to the minus t divided by 1 over 3 okay 1 minus 1 divided by 1 over 3 is minus 3t so i will have i 0 t is equal to this one just 1.2 and then e to the minus 3t okay the unit because this is 4 ohm and henry all of them will be in ampere and then because this is after the switch is open so i will have t is greater than zero and that is the final answer of this problem 7.11 okay hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye